Hi, from this servlet presentation, you will learn what inter servlet communication is or what servlet request dispatching is. By the end of it, you will learn how to use the request dispatcher interface that is available in the Java servlet interface, Java servlet API, and to do request dispatching using two mechanisms forward and include. So let's get started by looking at the examples. Request dispatching or inter servlet communication is a process in which one servlet can delegate the responsibility of a particular functionality to another servlet. So if we have a complex functionality that has to be implemented using servlets, we can process a part of it in one servlet and this servlet can then forward the request and response objects to an other servlet which can perform the rest of the request processing. When you pass the request from one servlet to another servlet, the request and response objects can be passed as is using the request dispatcher mechanism. So the request dispatcher interface in the Java servlet API allows us to use two methods, forward and include, to perform delegation of servlet requests. So let's say we are working on a login application or the login module for your application. We can have one servlet that processes the incoming login request and then it forwards the request to another servlet in case the login credentials are correct. It can forward the request to another servlet that generates the home page. And if the login request is not, uh, login request fails, if the user credentials are not correct, it can include a HTML error page or it can route back, it can include the login page again so that they can enter the username and password again. Similarly, if you are working on an e-commerce application, you can have two servlets when the order is placed, when a user checks out all the items in his shopping cart, you can have one servlet performing a payment for example, taking the credit card information and doing the payment, and another servlet that actually updates your database to place the order itself. Now, if tomorrow if, uh, in your production environment, if your payment, if there is a problem with the payment, you as a developer, if there is a bug in the payment, you can look at the payment servlet, and if there is a bug in the order servlet or uh, in the order processing, you can look at the order servlet. So your application will be easy to maintain in long term. So let's get back to request dispatcher. The request dispatcher provides us with forward and include. There are two steps to do request dispatching or delegation. The first step is to get a request dispatcher object. We get it by calling the get request dispatcher method on the request object. So when you are do get or do post or service methods, you can use the request dot get request dispatcher call to get a request dispatcher object. To that call, you pass the servlet URL name. This is the servlet URL to which you want to uh, send or delegate the request to. So in your first servlet, you will use the URL pattern of the second servlet to which you want the to delegate the request to. Once you have a request dispatcher, you can either use forward or include. The forward and include, both of them take the request and response that your do get, do post or service method gets. But the main difference between a forward and include is in case of forward, your first servlet will send the request to the second servlet. At that point, the second servlet has the complete control. And the response will go back finally from the second servlet. So in our login example, the first servlet can validate the user credentials and it will not send any output directly back. It will then delegate it to the home page generation servlet, which will send out the home page. It generates the HTML home page. Whereas in case of include, include mechanism, the first servlet does its part of work, generates a response, the sec it then includes the second servlet which does its work and the response from the second servlet is merged together with the response of the second servlet, first servlet and then sent to the browser. So that's the key difference. In case of uh, power servlet, in case of power mechanism, the last servlet's response, if you have three servlets delegating the request from one servlet to another, the last servlet in the chain will send the response back to the browser. But in case of include, the, all the responses are merged together and sent back to the browser. It's that easy to do request dispatching. Mainly you have two steps, getting the request dispatcher out of the request object. The, the implementation for this is provided by the web container like Tomcat, WebLogic or WebSphere. So you retrieve the request dispatcher, pass in the URL pattern 
that you have in your web.xml to the get request dispatcher methods and then you either call the forward or include. To summarize, from this presentation you have learned how to do inter-servlet communication using the request dispatcher interface and it has two methods. The main difference between forward and include is that in forward the last servlet in the chain sends the response back and include the response of all the servlets are merged and then sent back to the browser. The similarity between these two are they both take request and response as the input parameters. Until the next session, take care, keep learning and sharing. Thanks for watching.